All right, we'll go with Dan Roche. Hey, Romeo, just a, a thought on, on you and, and how you're feeling uh, now back and, and what, what's it been like for you and also in trying to get a rhythm and trying to get this team also uh, co consistent on a consistent basis, night in and night out. What's the whole process been like for you? Uh, it's been it's been good. Um, it's it's been good. I uh, just getting out there playing, making making mistakes. Finally, getting ho hopefully getting the whole team back, uh, and we all can be healthy for the first time and all be on the court at the same time for the first time like this year. And it's just good to be able to play play through mistakes and uh, coming together as a team on this little last stretch of the season. Gary Washburn. Hey Romeo. Um. Two questions. One, how confident? It seems like you're confident now in your shot. Like not say you weren't before, but it seems like you're shooting with some confidence and something you worked on during that time off. Secondly, was there a kind of a low point or a, a point of doubt during all this time when you were hurt that it's like, man, is this going to happen for me? Or why? Why me? Is it? Is it? Was there some tough times during that stretch when you were just kind of trying to recover? Yeah, regarding my shot, uh, I've just been working on it since day one I got here with the Celtics, and I put in so much time, effort, and hours in that now I just just shoot now. It just comes comes naturally, and I feel like I'm back, getting back to my old self back in high school when I was shooting really good. But as far as, like, the injuries and stuff, this last my wrist injury and stuff, uh, I mean, I really, really didn't have no down. Like I wasn't really down on myself or worried about anything because it's it's not it wasn't my first time getting like being hit with an injury like this and having to sit out for a long time. And I have good people around me, um, my coaches, Coach Joe, uh, trainers, and my parents uh, that keep me keep me positive and focused on the, the uh, goal at hand. Jared Weiss. Romeo, before you got to the league, you were in a point forward role a lot of the time and you kind of controlled the ball, but now you're kind of in a spot up role and it seems like you're attacking off the catch a lot quicker now. How, how have those reads evolved for you and how is your decision making changing? Yeah, um, yeah. Growing up, I always had the ball in my hand, uh, most of the majority of the time making plays with the ball and now I'm more of uh, playing off the ball and having to make quicker, quicker reads and stuff like that. But I work on that. A hundred, hundreds of time every single day with uh, Coach Joe, um, which making it more second, second nature, second hand uh, to me when I'm out there doing that. John Corrales. Romeo, you talked about making mistakes. What mistakes are you making out there? What What do you need to improve on? Uh, I mean, sometimes I slip up on defensive assignments um, out there, uh, just being more focused, and then. Then like making some of the decision making when I do catch on the run, um, like last game, I fell on my face and uh, threw the ball away a couple of times. And those are the mistakes I'm talking about. When I, I work on those every day. And that's that's why it's frustrating when I, those mistakes do happen, because I know how much time I put in and I do that. And I see that every single day. And when I do make mistakes, it's kind of uh, kind of get down on myself. But that's one thing I work on is not getting down myself and just keep playing, go go to the next play. And um, yeah. Jared Weiss. Uh, on what you're saying, you know, a lot, a lot of young players are kind of scared to make mistakes, especially when they're playing around other veterans. How does the team give you feedback, the coaches and the players, when you make those mistakes? Uh, they just tell me forget about it because they, they, see, they see that I work on, on that every day and I don't make those mistakes when I'm working, working out. And uh, it's, just, it's just one mistake. And, and that's why I play as hard as I do and do other things so those mistakes don't seem as big because I'm doing and impacting the game in other, other ways besides the one little mistake I, I may make. Bobby Manning. Hey, Romeo. How hard was that comeback from COVID protocol? I know Brad said you were going through conditioning and your legs were feeling like jelly during some of those sessions and you're just trying to get that win back, it felt like. you know What, what was the experience of going through that protocol and you know what were the key steps in getting back? Uh, it, it it wasn't it wasn't too hard, but the first couple of days coming back, it was just it was just like felt like it was all new to me, just because like the three weeks that I was out suffering from COVID, it just it was tough. But um, I really just need like 
needed a week, honestly. And then that's when I was back. I really, my legs don't really feel like jello. And uh, my wind, I have no problem, trouble breathing out there when I'm, when I'm running and stuff like that. But it wasn't, it wasn't too bad. Um, but I'm, I'm good now. All right. We'll wrap it up right there. Thanks, Romeo. Thank you.